Honorable Chief Justice, uh, Chief Guest, respected trustee members, our distinguished guests, those of you who have come all the length and breadth of the not only country but even the trans countries, distinguished guests from US, our numerous parents who have joined us from different places, from Nagaland, from Kashmir, from Kerala. We feel overjoyed and we feel very happy and we feel privileged. This is such an auspicious occasion at JIT. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. As-salatu wassalamu ala rasulhi alameen. I am really delighted to be here to welcome proud parents, families, friends, and our graduates of JIT today, this morning. And I feel privileged to welcome our special guest at this happy occasion, Minister of Higher Education and Technical Education, Mr. Dio Noku. The journey I have embarked upon 15 years ago with few friends to build a college, an institution to make the difference in the life of the people in this area, eventually build a university, has we had great teachers and strong mentors who prepared us and helped us. I am thankful to them and to my parents, especially to my mother. There are hundreds of engineering colleges around. Then why JIT? Many people ask that questions. I just wanted to clarify, take a few minutes. Why JIT? We are working hard to build an institution which is different where not only produce good engineers, but also good personalities to build our future leadership, which is honest and committed to giving back to their families, community, country, and to GIT for the benefit of the future students and build one of the best college and eventually a best university, inshallah. We like to provide quality education at affordable price as today the education has become a business. We want to have a place, build a beautiful campus, have freedom of thought and freedom of expression, enjoy, learn to become caring and sharing citizens with high moral character, passion for truth, honesty, equality, as well as believe not only on the books but in their heart. There are many others who are building colleges as a business for the money. For us, all we want is a better future through education. We will be gone, but I want the process to continue. I want this seed to grow, become a tree, multiply in many colleges and universities. This is our desire. This is our gift to you. This is our dua. And I hope and pray that all of you commit today to continue and embark on this path, on a journey which is long way to Follow. I'm very happy to be a part of your program today. This is very red letter day for especially for the graduating students. I would like to first of all congratulate all the students who are graduating today. This is a very important occasion and also those for those of you who are physically present. And for due to certain unavoidable circumstance, for those of you who are not able to come also in absentia, I would like to convey my congratulations to all the graduating students today.
Today is a very, very important day, especially for students who are graduating. But it's not only for people who are passing out from their degrees, from their courses. But uh, it is also equally important for those students who are studying here in this institute. Today, India is a country of unity in diversity. I wish the minister in charge of minorities could be here today. Today, because of certain utterances, some of our leaders of this country, that India is meant for Hindus. I hope those friends who are from Hindu background will not mind. But this is a country where we have to accept the constitution of India. The principle of secularism, the principle of unity in diversity is when I talk about unity in diversity, we have a country, this is a subcontinent, where we have all kinds of people are living together. All sorts of languages and cultures in this country. India has got the richest cultures of all the countries in the world. We have all sorts of people. I request the Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Dionuku, and Director of JG. Professor Khaja M. Rafi to award the degrees and medals to the students. The students of 2013 batch are requested to come to the stage and receive their respective degrees. The names are Parvez Ahmad, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Mirza Rajesh Beg, Electronics and Communication Engineering, S.K. Anzarul Haq, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Farhan Hassan Rizvi, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Sabah Khan, Electronics and Communication Engineering. Computer Science Engineering. I, as an Indian, I, I hold this degree of grateful her to keep the honor, dignity, and responsibility of learning impart it and I always will remain faithful and true to our nation, institute and family. And so then forever. So help me God and our fellows.